Scientists have looked long and hard into the origins of Earth's water, and what they've found is amazing. Our planet shouldn't be wet at all. The place where the Earth is right now seems very dry. So if the Earth formed as a dry rock around a hot young star, then how did this water get here? Every possibility has problems, and we want to know the answer. Tracing the exact source of Earth's water is surprisingly complex. The journey starts over 4.6 billion years ago, during the formation of our solar system. A vast cloud of gas and dust hangs in space. Inside this cloud, atoms of hydrogen and oxygen proliferate. Oxygen is one of the most abundant atoms in the universe. Hydrogen is the most abundant atom in the universe. You're going to get a lot of whatever it is they form. Over millions of years, these highly reactive atoms bind together to form H2O, water. Water is a fairly simple molecule. It's made of two hydrogens and one oxygen. This newly formed water sticks to dust grains inside the gas cloud, slowly building up into crystals of ice. Eventually, the icy, dusty cloud becomes so dense, it starts to collapse under gravity. This begins the process that forms our solar system. There's enough water here to fill the Earth's oceans three million times over. When we see stars that are forming right now, and, and we study hundreds, thousands of them, we see disks of material beginning to orbit around the young stars, gas, dust, and there's certainly quite a bit of water in that material. Gravity pulls more and more material into the center of the cloud, raising pressure and temperature. Eventually, the extreme forces spark fusion, and a protostar, our infant sun, bursts into life. Bad news for the water surrounding the newly born star. The environment of a star when it forms is incredibly hot and violent. Any water that was existing in that region, because water is a volatile material, would be destroyed. Water cannot exist near a star early on during its formation.